Well, Black and White Network, we definitely have a problem with our schools. A bit problem. Now, in Virginia, man, one of the reasons why Glenn Youngkin, a Republican, became the governor is because of these um, school boards, man. They just got way too radical, man. Way, way, way too radical. Hopefully, President Trump can actually uh, flip Virginia. I don't know if it would actually happen or not, but I believe that the margins are definitely going to be close. I believe he has a real shot, though, to win Virginia. Maybe people are actually starting to wake up, folks. Hopefully so. I really, really do. But when it comes to the schools, it's mainly a local issue. And I have no faith, really, in a lot of these school boards. They're just way too far left. They're way too woke. And folks, I don't believe any illegal alien should be admitted to any school. Yes, I said it. And I do mean it. It's especially an illegal alien that is a criminal. What if I was to tell you guys that an illegal alien actually got suspended from a school last year? Why? Because he brought a gun to school and was threatening students. Then why in the world would you actually enroll that illegal alien? He's an MS-13 gang member, by the way. Why would you allow him to be put into another school? Folks, these people need to be deported, man. I believe in mass deportations. All 20 million plus illegal aliens need to be deported. You got to start off with the worst, guys. And it definitely seems like um, this student is one of the worst. He needs to go. But oh, no, not in Loudoun County, man. Loudoun County, Virginia, man. Some else, guys. But the parents, man, they exploded on the school board, man. School board meeting, we got the video also as well. The school board abruptly ends the meeting because the parents were actually sounding the alarm on this illegal alien criminal. I guess, folks, they just couldn't handle it, guys. Folks, this school board, man, definitely wants students dead. No other way to put it, man. They want students dead. Let's go and do it, man. Check this out. Virginia school board storms out after parents sound alarm over MS-13 gang member enrollment. The student is an illegal alien with a criminal record who was suspended from Blue Ridge Middle School in May 2023 for bringing a firearm to school and threatening students. Folks, I don't care if this is a middle schooler, man. This student needs to be deported. He's here illegally. He actually brought a gun to, to a school. He threatened students. Why is he still here, man? Why is he still here? Says here, a Virginia school board meeting came to an abrupt halt on Tuesday when parents expressed concerns about an MS-13 gang members enrollment at Loudoun Valley High School. OK, so I guess he's in high school now. Uh, the student is an illegal alien with a criminal record who was suspended from Blue Ridge Middle School in May 2023 for bringing a firearm to school and threatening students. A worried father confronted the Loudoun County School Board about the issue, but the elected officials refused to address the concerns and stormed out the room. One school board member shut him down within seconds of him giving a public comment, stifling the father's allotted time behind the podium. Quote, recently, the local media covered a story where a known gang member with a criminal record was suspended from LCPS and was allowed back in the schools. The dad said before he was interrupted by the board. He was given two warnings to leave the podium but the dad fired back. I'm not stopping. Good. And he shouldn't stop, folks. I thought that the left man <laughs> didn't like guns. But, you know, they love illegal aliens, right? Oh, they absolutely love illegal aliens. They don't care about your safety. 
They don't care about the safety of your kids. This student right here, man, could have committed mass murder at a school. He's already here legally, man. They didn't care. They didn't care, man. And parents are concerned. Yeah, they should be concerned. If I was these parents, man, pull your kids out of these schools. Pull your kids out of these schools, folks. Just that simple. Just that simple. I know some of you guys got to go to work, but why would you actually allow your kid to actually be dead? I wouldn't. Pull them out of these schools, man. Try to homeschool them. Do what you got to do. I know it's not an easy decision. I get that. But um, let's go ahead and watch this clip, guys, of um, this uh, father and then other people in the crowd, man. They're not having it. OK, let's let's roll it. Recently, the local media covered a story where a known gang member with a criminal record Mr. that was Mr. suspended Mr. from LCPS was allowed back okay. in the school. Now, 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 part of the media. It's a news story. Channel 9 did a news story. This is public information. I'm sorry that this is. No, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Okay. 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 Everybody knows that there are gangs in Georgia and LCPS. Students know, parents know, teachers and staff know. And so LCPS method of dealing with it is to minimize the danger and reintegrate juvenile criminals into the schools. LCPS wouldn't want to admit there's a problem because it might be affecting their school ratings and rankings. Mr. Rivera. Meanwhile, on the day, the liberal chair and her local loyal sycophants continue to prosecute about gun storage, push school okay. reunions to waste taxpayer money and waste hundreds of thousands to build co ed bathrooms. Okay. With regards to guns, the American Academy of Pediatrics also thinks that mastectomies and castrations are good for kids. Okay. Thank you very much for your public comment. We will be ending it for the night. You don't get to make that decision by fiat. There needs to be a vote to end public comment. Make a vote. Go ahead and vote on it. Make a decision to end public comment. And all of you raise your hands and tell every single person that's sitting in this room that you want to violate their First Amendment and stop your constituents from speaking. Go ahead and take a vote. You don't end public comment until there's a vote. Vote for it. You are out of order, Ms. Maloko. Take a vote. Wow. We are now <laughs> going to end public comment. Without a vote. Without a vote. Without a vote. Without a vote. As we normally do after public comment. Yeah, don't hide. Don't hide. Out of order. Yeah. You don't get to. You out of order. order. You're a tyrant. Out of order. Out of order. Zero tolerance. Zero censoring. Wow. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. You know what needs to happen, folks? People need to just stop paying their property taxes. Just that simple, man. Stop paying your property taxes because those taxes go to, you guessed it, the school board who wants your kids dead. These people want your kids dead. This is why I believe, folks, taxation is theft, man. Because what they do with your tax dollars is not in the best interest of the community. They abuse it, man. They're harboring an illegal alien that threatened to kill other students. And they're perfectly OK with it, man. They are perfectly OK with it. This is just unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. They want your kids dead, man. People better wake up. They better wake up. These school boards want your kids dead. Dead. These leftists say, hey, the guns are the problem. Well, you got a kid in there. That's illegal. Threatened to kill students. You're not doing nothing about it. Nothing. Folks, these people care about legal aliens more than you. You're a citizen. You're a taxpayer. And they want you, the taxpayer, to pay for this illegal alien criminal. Folks, we need Trump bad, bad. Badly. Badly. Now, I know this is a local thing, folks. This is a local thing right here. But, folks, you, you got to hold your school boards accountable, man. We need Trump back first to actually get these illegals deported. And it definitely seems like on um, this uh, student 
Illegal alien should be at the top of the list, man. He should be right up there. How do you actually get into the country? I have no idea. I have no idea. But it doesn't matter. He's here illegally. He needs to go. You're threatening students in our country. This isn't their country. This is our country. Get these people out of here, man. And these people on the school board, man, need to be voted out. I don't know the names of these people, but it's pretty clear they need to be voted out, folks. If you don't vote these people out. You can actually be going to the morgue. And seeing your 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 child on the slab. Because these people care more about illegal aliens, even if they're criminals. Astonishing, right? Gunley, right there, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.